Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill Keller. I'm a platinum executive with Thrive Life. And as Elizabeth and I are sitting here self-quarantining in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about the prepping industry and where it's headed, where I believe it's headed. <clears throat> and that this is actually a great time to be doing Thrive Life. But first, let me go back and talk a little bit about the history of Thrive Life and the history of, of the prepping industry. And, you know, <clears throat> I really don't like to get political on any of my videos, but the prepping industry is driven in many ways by the political situation. So I have to talk about it a little bit. Please don't be offended by this. This is just uh, the effects of the politics on prepping. When Thrive Life began, the prepping industry was hopping and Thrive couldn't hardly even keep <clears throat> stuff on the shelves. It's kind of like right now, they can't keep stuff on the shelves. It, sh it sells faster than they can make it. Well, the prepping industry was hopping right after President Obama was elected. And this is a political part. In, a, in many ways, I think, I know this is a generality, but in many ways, I think that basically preppers are conservatives. Most people that I know that are preppers are conservatives. There are very few people who are liberals who are preppers. Now, there are always exceptions, obviously. I know that. But <clears throat> there was a lot of uneasiness among the conservative population when Obama came into office and prepping, quite frankly, exploded. The, the industry exploded. Thrive was launched then and it did a great job and there were many other companies that were launched as well. But then as time went on and conservatives realized that uh, Obama wasn't going to do maybe quite as much damage to our country as they feared. And then as uh, President Trump came into office, the prepping industry basically died. And many of the companies that were launched during that uh, the early Obama years, many of the you know, the prepper companies actually went out of business. There were quite a few of them that were doing quite well that went out of business. <clears throat> now, fortunately, Thrive had anticipated this, and so they launched into marketing Thrive Life for daily use. And so they introduced the simple plate and to-go meals and a few other things, really emphasizing daily use. Because here's the thing, if you turn a prepper on to Thrive Life, he's going to buy until he gets his stocks, his long-term storage, full. He might spend several thousand dollars, and then once he has three months or six months or nine months or whatever his goal is, he's going to stop buying. Now, that's a great market because he's going to buy several thousand dollars worth of food. But if you can turn somebody on to daily use, then they are going to buy $100 or $200 or $300 a month every single month, theoretically, for the rest of their lives. So Thrive realized that, and they tapped into that market because the prepping uh, market is a small niche, but daily use groceries, everybody eats. Everybody. So it's a huge market. And Thrive did quite well with that and are still doing quite well with that. But as the prepping industry died, you know, I got a lot of comments from people who are <clears throat> skeptical about prepping. They think I'm an idiot for pre pre prepping, you know. They, they think of the doomsday prepper in a bunker with a howitzers and, and claymore mines all around and all that kind of stuff, you know, radical. Well, we're not that. If you know us, we're not that. But many, many of those people would laugh at me for prepping and they would say, what in the world are you prepping for? And I would have to honestly tell, you, tell them, I don't know. But I know that it's going to be needed in the future. Well, now I can tell you, now I know. I'm prepping for the coronavirus. And I think there's a lot more to come in the future, and that's why I'm prepping. <clears throat> now, as the coronavirus hit, I think that the entire situation with the prepping industry is changed. And I think that Thrive Life is just situated perfectly to just absolutely take off as a business. In fact, they already are. They stock anywhere from three to six months worth of inventory on their shelves. And when the panic buying started, about five or six weeks ago, they sold out almost their entire in inventory in two weeks. Six months worth of, of inventory as far as their daily, their, their average sales, and they sold out in two weeks. 
that's what's happening with the prepper market. And, you know, I do a lot of prepper videos on our uh, YouTube channel, and I get a lot of comments from a lot of people. And basically, since all of this started, I'm getting four comments, okay? The first one is, I've been a prepper for years. I'm well prepared for this. Not a problem. Not a big deal. The second one is, I really wasn't a prepper until I started listening to your, your videos. And so I started prepping a year ago. And so thanks to you, I'm so glad I listened to you. Uh, I now have enough to get me through for three months or six months or whatever. I'll tell you what, for Elizabeth and I, that is so gratifying and satisfying to know that we have helped someone uh, change their mind about prepping and that they're prepared now for this. It just makes us feel so good. The third comment that we get is, <clears throat> you know, I've been wanting to start prepping for a long time, but I just never quite got around to it. I really wish I had. Man, I wish I had. And this is where Thrive Life, the future of Thrive Life comes in, because I think there's going to be a lot of people who have wanted to start prepping and just never quite got around to it that are now doing it. My sales have exploded in Thrive Life from new people starting prepping for the first time. And that's where these people come in. I wish I had started a long time ago. I just never got around to it. And then the fourth category of comments that I get is people, well, one in particular I remember, it's sort of the sentiment, sentiment of all of them that I hear. This woman said, I love all of your videos, except your pre prepping videos. I always thought that they were ridiculous and a little over the top. And then she said, now I understand. Now I wish I had listened and started prepping. I just placed my first order with Thrive. So what's happening here? <clears throat> people who have wanted to prep but never got around to it, or people who thought it was ridiculous, those two types of people are now starting to buy Thrive Life food. And I really think that, you know, this is not being driven politically. This is being driven, you know, for a, a natural disaster, a pandemic. It has nothing to do with politics. Some people try to think it is. And but it's the fear and the panic is being driven not by politics but by the the situation with the pandemic, and I think that the prepping is about to be reborn. I think that prepping has now entered the social consciousness of everybody in the world, especially everybody here in North America, both Americans and Canadians, and I think that the prepping industry is going to be going gangbusters for a long time to come. I think that once the coronavirus is done and we're back to our normal lives, if that's ever possible, I think that the prepping is going to continue uh, among people who never would have imagined before that they would be preppers. So what does that mean for us? It's a golden opportunity. I mean, I, I understand that there's a lot of suffering going on. There's a lot of, you know, death going on with the pandemic right now. And I feel for those people. I'm very sorry for their loss. But that's a different topic. We're talking business here. And business is booming for Thrive Life. So as, as you go forward in uh, building your business or launching your business, just know that there are two basic uh, uses for Thrive Life. One is daily use. Push daily use as much as you can. Talk about the, the convenience, the cost savings, the nutrition, all of that. Because if you can turn people on to daily use, they're going to be buying food from you every single month because they're buying groceries. And all they have to do is just take some of the grocery money they spend at Walmart or Kroger and spend it at your Thrive Life grocery store instead. And that is absolutely the best residual income you could ever get for somebody to buy their groceries from you every single month. I mean, come on. That's amazing. That's amazing. But then the other thing is that you can probably find that you can talk to people very easily about prepping people who never would have given you the time of day before. So just with those two things in mind, go forward. You know, I know right now we're all in isolation and it, you can't ha have uh, <clears throat> people over for dinner uh, to introduce them to Thrive Life. You can't have any tasting parties or anything like that because of the isolation uh, that's forced upon us. But you still have email, you still have phone calls, <clears throat> you still have Facebook to tell people about this amazing food that you have that means that you don't have to go to the grocery store as often. You know, it's an amazing opportunity. Take it. <laughs> Let's take it. Let's go forward. Let's use this opportunity to go forward and build our business for long-term storage as well as daily use. 
I hope that all makes sense to you, and I hope that maybe makes you a little bit excited about the future of Thrive Life as a business as we go forward with this new social consciousness of prepping. All right, that's it for now. You all be blessed. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to, to contact me. See you later.